What is your relationship and uh, what is your understanding of God? Who is God? Most philosophers would say well, we're inside the mind of God, um, and so it would be impossible for us to understand actually what God's form is. So then the question is, how do you start believing in something that you can't see or smell or hear or touch or taste or acquire with your senses? And Jung provides the formula for that, and he says, act as if you fake it till you make it. And so that's, you know, what I started doing. I just started pretending there was a God watching me all the time and kind of life was a series of tests. And each, there was a bunch of moral decisions that I had to make every day. And if I make a whole bunch of those choices right, I maintain myself in a posture of surrender, which keeps me open to my higher power, my, to my God. And when, that, when I do those things right, so much about addiction is about abuse of power all of us have some power whether it's you know good looks or whether it's connections or education or family or whatever and there's always a temptation to use those to fill fulfill self-will and the challenge is how do you use those always to serve instead god's will and you know the, the good of our community and that to me is kind of the struggle and when i do that i feel god's power coming through me and that I can do things, I'm much more effective as a human being. That gnawing anxiety that I lived with for so many years, and my God, it's gone. And that I can kind of like put down the oars and hoist the sail, and the wind takes me. And I can see the evidence of it every day of my life. If you like this video and you want to learn more about me and the movement that we're building, please go to Kennedy24.com.